Uh, so, so you know, I guess you can tell, all, most of the people in this crowd, all of us are poets, all the poets are teenagers, and because we are teenagers, we tend to kind of hate ourselves sometimes. <laughs> um, I would like to dedicate this poem to both boys and girls and everything in between that still are battling with self-hatred because I did for a very long time. <clears throat> at 13, I would look in the mirror at my bare skin and I wished it was possible to cut out the pieces of my reflection that I hated with scissors. I would have cut out my slaughterhouse thighs, lined with stretch marks that curve and twist like dried up riverbanks. Oh, my acne scars that are sketched across my shoulders like an entry from puberty's undocumented diary. Oh, All the blackheads that dot my nose, my loathsome lips that have never been kissed. And of course, all the fat slabs on my hips and face. Yeah. I wanted to be my own plastic surgeon, armed with any sharp object I could find, and a copy of Vogue with Natalie Portman on the cover. <laughs> I wanted my collarbones to stick out like wings. I wanted pale and creamy skin. For months, the only words I could fathom in my mind were those of self-hatred. I was obsessed with being a new person. If 13-year-old me was able to see that I still have fat and scars, she'd probably scream. But she got her wish. I am a new person in the same body because I remade my mind like a sand castle. The sand got thicker and I learned how to handle the tide. Puberty will do its damage, but my lips will grow to love and the stretch marks will fade. My reflection is whole again and I have no use for scissors.